Hey, my name is John Disk, and today we're going to talk about women. Yeah. Do they really have cooties? Hmm. No, I'm kidding, man. We're going to talk about pool. Hang on just a second. Say, here's the thing. I, I don't plan on these videos. Just kind of evolve and take on a life of their own. Um, it's a little hard to explain. Making YouTube videos is a lot like pool. You're always striving to get better. You're always learning new things. You're always kind of testing yourself and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And what most video makers do include this and especially how to or instructional videos is they figure out what their audience wants to know about or wants to learn about or whatever and then they plan out their whole video according to that specific topic so they wake up in the morning and say okay today i'm making a video on this topic I, I learned a long time ago I, I cannot I cannot create like that I can't I don't I can't have a paint by numbers day for me it kills the entire incentive of making a video and then I feel trapped into that subject where maybe I want to talk about how to draw a ball three rows around the table and I can't because I'm already committed to focus on, on, on an entirely different topic. So while this, their method works to create uh, interest and views, it doesn't work for me. See, they can, they can say, okay, this is Friday coming up, I'm going to make a video about this guy, so tune in. And, and that gains interest and not really excitement, but so the viewer says, well, I got, I got to know that, so I have to be here Friday night. And over the next couple of days, you know, people talk about it and it promotes their video, and the video does real good. I, I, I just can't do that. Uh, I go out to the pool room, and I just start running racks. And within those racks, issues come up um, that I know you guys need or want to know about. Because issues come up in every single rack of nine ball. I don't care who's playing it. And that's the way I create. So I, I can't I can't plan it. I just I just do it. And there's so many issues that can come up in the pool that it's just endless. Yeah, I got bad position on the three. How could I have done it better? Now, that's a perfect issue to make a, a pool instructional video about. And it's just more normal and natural for me. Something dies inside me if I feel like I'm confined or limited or, you know, paint my number in a video. Yeah, it's just, it just doesn't work for me. So, I guess it's that creative adventure instinct. It's like, well, I don't, I don't know where this video is going. I don't, let's, let's just do it. Let's see where it goes. And it's like, getting off an accident. I don't know where this goes. Let's, let's go find out. And yeah, it hurts my channel, but it's just, it's my style. The other way is just too, I can't plan it because it's too, it's too bureaucratic and black and white. It's like tomorrow's lesson will be on. It, it, it kills the soul of video if you ask me. Yeah, I can't be funny here, guys. I, I can't. Um, I, I've tried um, to make videos that I really, my heart's not into it, and I can tell. And I don't like myself when I do that. Yeah, I, I used to make vlogs about life in Tennessee. And I learned this way back in the vlogging days. I would 
try to plan it. So, okay, Friday we're going to do a Q&A. Uh, so get your questions ready. And then Friday, you know, we we'll roll around and wake up. Find something to eat for breakfast and be thinking, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Uh, this topic came up last night and I was thinking about it because I was watching, you know, somebody else's video or whatever. And I can't do it. I have to do the Q&A. So I feel like I'm, I'm going to school, you know. I don't want to go to school. I want to you know, do this. But I have to go to school. So yeah, it makes me feel like a, a conformist robotic. You know. Kind of defeats who I am. And because a pool player can't see himself, his body, you know, you're not looking at your whole body while you're playing pool and say, oh, I, I was off balance there and that gave me a bad stroke. So this is the issue that's, you know, that's centered on the video, keeping your body still. And so it's like, okay, well, I didn't really even realize that I was making that mistake so now we have to fix it. Now we have to do it right. And how do we do that? So all these questions are popping up with not just you, but with me too. So I'm learning. I'm progressing with you guys. You know, I don't pretend I'm Efren Reyes, who, you know, I'm just Mr. Perfect Pool Player that's in charge of teaching you guys. So that keeps me interested in creating a video and getting the title right, and the description right, and the camera right, and, and everything else right. Uh, because this topic is important, so this is what this video is about. So I know what it's about after it's made. Right, and, and now any rational person will say, well, don't do the intro until you shoot the video. But then I feel like I'm pretending. Then I feel like I'm acting. Then I can't make the video and, and be surprised because I already know what it's all about and what I'm going to say. It's just, to me, it feels phony. And I'm not an actor. I'm just a, a guy that plays pool. And I happen to be doing that for a long damn time. So I've seen a lot of things. And I know how to help some people to avoid those things or correct those things. That's it. Right. Welcome to my video. So what the hell is this video about? Well, it's about uh, being jacked up too high. I just decided that like two seconds ago. So, I think it's time to do it, so come on, let's go. In the last video, we talked about having an over-level cue, for lack of a better term, or just being too level, and the damage that it's doing to your game. Uh, now we're going to talk about uh, being too jacked up. So, what is too jacked up? and what's normal and we already went over two levels so and some of this is a little bit controversial depending on who you talk to this is about right on a pull shot if you look through the cue ball and see the angle of my cue and that's hitting center ball that's about as jacked up as you want to get unless you're purposely trying to say the ball or really just spin the hell out of it or draw it. Um, this, of course, is over level, two level. This is about right. And this is too jacked up. Unless you purposely want to shoot a jacked up shot. If you shoot like this in most of your pull shots, you're doing it wrong. And now we're going to look at a closer look at what's happening with the pool ball when you're too jacked up. So with a little bit of a dramatic effect, 
if you're coming down on a cue ball like this, on this angle, hitting dead center ball, this cue ball is being forced into the table and it's going to jump off the table. Now you might not see it with the naked eye and you all know the jump shot and that's what you intend to do. But when you're jacked up on a shot, even this much, that cue ball is coming off the table just a fraction of a millimeter. And that fraction of the millimeter is throwing you off aim if, if you have just a speck, just a hair of unintended or intended English. So just like the, uh, the shovel effect, if you're over level, is throwing the cue ball up in the air like a baseball. Um, being the opposite extreme is also pushing it into the table and forcing it to jump up. So when you put English on there, whether intentionally or unintentionally, you're increasing, drastically increasing the amount of deflection on the cue ball. Now you've all seen the Massé shot and the trick shot artist where they're purposely using that effect to push the cue ball this way and because they're putting English and shooting down on the ball the, the cue ball is being pushed this way and also sideways draw on it for lack of a better term so it moves this way and then it comes back this way and that's a Massé shot. Uh, probably the hardest shot and pull. It's a master. Uh, and then this is the problem with being too jacked up. You know, a lot of guys are too jacked up on every shot and are literally forcing that cue ball into the table and jumping up. And that'll go in a straight line as long as you're hitting center of the ball. But if you unintentionally just is something in your stroke is off, something's not right, and you accidentally put a hair of English on that, you're going to get the Massé effect, and you're going to get a drastic amount of deflection. Um, um, and on the left hand English shot, accidentally or on purpose, the cue ball's going that way as it's spinning back in line. So you're unintentionally putting Massé on the ball. Um, so I told the folks after my last video I would cover the opposite extreme. There is a happy meeting. Um, and what some players think is too jacked up. Um, but isn't. Because they have this thing in their head where this perfectly parallel with the table is level. And and Miss Q shots, what a lot of people don't understand what's happening, and they shoot bottom on the ball without jacking up and just doing that. What they're doing unintentionally is hitting the table with the tip of their cue before they hit the cue ball. But it all happens in the blink of an eye, and this is why they're Miss Q. That's a little bit more difficult to do when you're just a little bit jacked up. You don't have to be like a trick shot artist to shoot a draw shot, but you should be just a little jacked up. So in your standard everyday pull shot, if you have a stop shot running, um, this would be about right. Can you see through the cue ball and through my stroke? At about that angle with your cue is about right. This angle is wrong. It's going to hurt your game. It's too level. And many times it drops to being the exact opposite of being jacked up. This is too jacked up. And I know a lot of bar players that play like that. But these are guys that have great strokes. And they're not unintentionally put in English. They'll both shoot center ball every shot. Um, so they don't have to worry about the mass say effect and they don't have to worry about coming up a little bit on the table because they're shooting the cue ball on a straight line. All that is a whole lot harder to do on a nine foot table. So they'll shoot every single shot on the table about that jacked up. And for some reason that I 
well, the cue ball is traveling less, but it works better on a bar table than it does on a nine foot table. And that very basic reason that they shoot every shot jacked up and they play great on the bar table, but they can't play great on the nine foot table is what's holding them back. Um, so these off table things I'm saying to you guys, these, these, these videos that go off table, um, they're intended for your pool game on a nine foot table. Uh, the pros play most of their tournament tournaments on nine foot tables, and the bar tables take a different stroke and a different approach to the game. Um, so I'm making these videos as if you're a nine foot table player and not a bar table player. Um, so that short little punchy stroke. Works for a lot of people, but they're usually bar table people. So, I think with that we're going to wrap it up. You get, you get the gist, right? You certainly don't want to put unintentional mass say in it. Um, you don't want the cue ball coming up off the table. Um, you don't want all that unnecessary deflection. Um, these are things that are going to make your game really hard. And all you had to do was bring the back of that uh, cue down a little bit and not be so jacked up. And your game would improve, particularly on a nine foot table. Uh, before I sign off here, um it's been delay after delay after delay on setting up the new pool room and getting all the tables set up and, and ready. Um, it's very frustrating and I really miss making those run out videos because that's what seems most natural and that's what I do and that's what you guys know me as. Um, there's about and maybe 10% chance 1 in 10 of being ready tomorrow night. Um, but whether it's tomorrow night or next week or two weeks from now, um, I will get back to stockpiling a whole lot of those run out videos so, you know, we can get back to what we do here. I just wanted to keep you posted on that. Um, until then, I'll do the best I can do. Uh, peace, guys. I hope this video helps somebody out here.